Hi you guys. So I wanted to do kind of um, the beginning of probably a pretty complicated video, maybe a video series on looking at what you have in your preps and trying to figure out how much food you have in your preps, meaning how many people can what you have in your preps actually feed. So there's a common misconception and the media uh, and grocery stores and other people like that, um, people that make products, really not so much grocery stores, try to make us believe certain things. And the reason this whole video came into my head was one is I was talking with some friends on Facebook and they were asking me how I figured out how much food I have in my own prepper pantry. And then my husband and I made some of this Bear Creek hot and sour soup mix, which is really excellent by the way. They've discontinued it for some ungodful reason. I don't know why. But he looked at this little seven ounce packet and he said, gosh, this makes eight servings. What a good deal. How cool is that? This can make eight servings. You know, we should buy a bunch of these. So after I made it, I looked at the actual serving size. And this is what I think we should all do. So a serving size to make eight is one cup. There's eight cups per container, which runs about 90 calories. So I don't know about you, but drinking one cup, and I... I put one cup of blue water in the in this uh, quart container to symbolize what one cup is. Is that enough soup to satisfy you for a meal? Certainly not, right? I don't care how big or how small you are unless you're a kid. And it's only 90 calories. So the way I check my prepper pantry is I throw the servings out the window other than to figure out calorie content. That's it. That's the only thing I use it for. Otherwise, I base my calories on 2,000 calories a day for a woman, 2,500 calories a day for a man, depending on their job. If uh, something goes down and I'm out working in the fields all day, which is probably where I would be, 2,000 is not going to cut it for me. I'm going to have to bump up to 25 my husband probably up to 3,000. But so how do we relate this into our own prepper pantry? So I, I took um, some things that you probably have in your pantry and some things that are a little more obscure. So this ugly looking container, and yes, the meat is cooked. This is chicken on the bone with skin on and it always gets pink, I don't know. It's gross, isn't it? But it's wonderful. It's fully cooked in there even though it's got redness. Don't worry about it, it's still fully sealed. But how many calories are in here? How many people is this going to feed? Well, I can these myself, so I know there's two chicken legs and two chicken wings in here. So what does that mean, right? So two legs are 160, er, 163 calories each, so one leg is 163, one wing is 90. So if we add that all together, this whole container is 506 calories. So let's pretend we're looking at 2,000 calories a day, or 20, let's go 2,500. So you might look at this and say, well, two people can easily eat this. But if you're really wanting to stock up and have good, nutritious food and keep people going, two people, one wing and one leg, are you kidding me? But you can put other things with it. It's just something to think about, okay? Let's take a slide over. Albacore tuna. This is a pound of albacore tuna, and this is the best tuna on the planet. We don't live very far from the coast. We drive down to the coast every couple years. I buy several hundred pounds of tuna, and I can it. Nice and canned, nice and hard. This is one pound line caught white albacore tuna canned in its own juices. There's no extra water in there. What you see in there is what came from the tuna itself. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. All right. So this is a pound of albacore tuna. What does that mean? A whole pound's only 240 calories. And what do you think the serving size would be? I mean, you look at that and you think, eh, maybe half the container is that? So these are the things you need to figure out. How many ounces, how many grams, how many people is one of these gonna feed? And I can tell you from personal experience, if you're making sandwiches, you're adding mayonnaise, you're adding onions and pickles, or, and putting it on bread, Half a container per person is going to make one healthy sandwich. If you're just eating it plain, maybe just as a salad, a whole container is going to feed one person. 
little container is 240 calories. If you split it in half, it's 120. So you see, the servings might have been six servings out of here, right? But let's get into something more concrete. Let's look at this beautiful Progresso split pea soup. So it is the classic version. And let's roll this around. So a serving size is one cup, which is half this can. When was the last time you ate half a can of soup? It's a half a can. So two servings per container, no way. That's one serving per container. And if you ate the whole container, 320 calories. So it's not even that much, right? If you're looking at 2,000 calories a day, if let's look at eating every one of these items in a day. How far is it going to get us? Maybe beef soup. Beef, you know, beef and potatoes and peas and carrots. It's It has meat in it. Same deal. Has even less calories, actually. 290 for the whole can. Serving, again, is one cup. About two servings per container because there's a little less than two cups in here. Let's look at this. This is, say, about, about two servings. So there's a little less than two cups in here. Yeah. No bueno, right? So then you eat that whole container, 300 calories. So if we had you eat all this chicken, all this tuna, all this split pea soup, and all this chunky beef, you're only up to 1,356 calories in a day, 1,356. If you ate bowl soups, all that chicken, and the chicken's got the skin on, and that whole jar of tuna, as is, 1,356 calories. So here's my ringer, good old spam. Senor spam a lot, but this is the, the most misleading thing I have in this lineup. Six servings per container. You see that? Sorry. A serving size is two ounces at 180 calories. So you think, oh, that's not so bad. I cut two ounces of cheese for you. It's almost the same size can of the as the container is tall. So that's a, that's a fat end. Let's put the skinny end up. This is two ounces. It's a little taller than the container, so it's that and some, but. How, if you eat spam, I don't eat spam, but if you did eat spam, is that going to satisfy you? No freaking way, right? You're going to eat half the container, if not the whole container. But this, a lot of fat in spam. A lot of heavy-duty fat, 30% fat for your daily diet. 30%, by the way, does not mean what's in the can. It means of your daily diet, total daily value. We should just do a whole video on label reading because... They're so full of crap. Almost no carbs or one carb, so there's not a lot of sugar. So the Spam, serving size is two ounces, supposed to be six per container, 180 calories per serving, 1,080, 1,000 calories in this container. This is calorie-dense food. So let's say you ate all this stuff plus the Spam. Now we're at 2,436 or almost to 2,500. And that's if you're a man and you're doing an average work. All right. So would you ever have guessed that you would need to eat all of this in a day to get up, up to almost 2,500 calories? And again, you know, we're going to add mayonnaise probably to this. This already has... The, the fat on it, and that counts in the calories. It's already there. You probably have bread with this, right? And maybe muffins or bread with them. But if I had walked into my shelf in my pantry and just looked at all this stuff, I would have said, here's, here's two days worth of food for me or maybe even another person. But it's not. Oh, you know what I should do is look up, hold on, I'm going to count the serving sizes. All right, rough count. If we went by the serving sizes, this is 14 serving sizes all said and done. Six, two, 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 two. That's what's easy. If you want to talk more about how we can uh, look at our whole pantry, make up a spreadsheet, 
and consider how many people we have and how much it would feed, let me know in the comments. This is a complicated issue. If you already have it down, you already know what you're doing. All you need to do is go through, figure out how many cans of beef and vegetable you have, and figure out how much calories you need to eat for it. Or how many people you need to feed with it and how many cans you have. And we can figure out if you have enough. Same with the soup, same with the spam, same with everything. So let's base it on calories. So figure out how many people, they're male or female, and what their jobs may likely be giving the event that you have in your mind. And are you prepping for now or are you prepping for the future? Do you have a 12-year-old son who may be 17 when things go wrong? 12-year-old still eats a lot, but you know what I mean. A 17-year-old strapping man or a young woman who is out working their butts off every day are going to eat a hell of a lot more than somebody who is uh, doing needlepoint. Anyway, let me know if you have any other questions and if you want a more in-depth um, idea on how to look at your whole pantry and figure out how much food you have, if you have enough food, and what kind of foods you actually need. All right. Talk to you guys later.